good read. Go buy it. No, 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 it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be wow. a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why right. the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Selfish bastard. You've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a yeah. lot lately. Yeah. Lots of parties. Cheers. And, um, you got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. Well, I did also huh. write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. Huh. And our musical guests, the Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. You want some show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an Aspen or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Yeah, Alan, you bitch. She didn't say anything. Ooh, hey, girl. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, um, your hard life of partying really is a strain. Let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. A pud. What a dunce. He's eclectic. He's an artist. He's allowed to be like that. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Duh! The clicker is the light switch, which is the ultimate enemy of any darkness. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to it literally turns on the sun. The manuscript on my own terms. To make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door. What? <clears throat> Aw. Bro sesh. Good luck, Al. See you later. I could totally see this being made into a movie and that'd be Jonah Hill. And that dude Keanu Reeves. Sandra Bullock for the cop. That that could work. Got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take it. Oh dude, I called it with a clicker, me. man. I'm so fucking On smart. Page, I'd <laughs> to use the clicker 
that's where I was headed. What's funny is you could have tested if it, if it did, and you just like click it off, turn it to night, and then click it on to be day. Like, come on, come on. Although this man is a writer, not a scientist, so it's a plot hole. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last Ooh, a time. thermos, coffee. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. So no manuscript over there. Verizon, wow, I wonder how much they paid to get that in there. on the other side. Hold on. Check this out. The speed limit is 50 miles an hour. I'm clocking it around a good 3 miles an hour. I like it. Running while intoxicated. Wow, they're really just going to make me run this whole way. All right. Luckily, I'm on a controller, so I can just do this one-handed. Maybe. If I'm not... Dumb. Was there a car over there? I don't think there was. But if there was, I'm sad that I didn't get it. What's up, Laku? How's it going, man? You're just in time for the last uh, last episode. Just started it. Probably be an hour before we finish this game. What's still going on with all those single-player survival shooter things? The mom, it's the Halloween marathon, man. We're playing spooky games until the end of October. It just so happens that a lot of horror games are single-player, multi-single-player survival shooters, at least at the moment. If I could find a multiplayer horror survival horror game or a spooky game, Dead by Daylight's one. But I don't own that. Or Seven Days to Die would be another one. Maybe I should get that. Scenic area. What's up over here? Oh, yeah. That's so scenic. Mm, look at that. I could take a day to play Left 4 Dead. I don't know. Also, on Seven Days to Die. Oh, really? Interesting. I've never played it, but it looks like it'd be fun. Like, really fun. Nice checkpoint. And also, there's just a shit ton of games on my Steam inventory that I, I'm really looking just to play. Ooh. Lithium batteries. Sucked at first, but they've updated a ton since the last time I played. They probably made it easier, honestly. Really just need to learn about the building mechanics. Um... Let's go. Damn. Play Half-Life 2, it's kind of spooky too, right? I've actually never played any of the Half-Lives. The darkness had touched me. 
There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Ah, there we go. Nice. Is that it? I just have I have one more bullet. Fuck. If only headshots mattered in this game. I also wonder how many manuscript pages I picked up in this run. It's gotta be a lot. Nice, get in. Let's drive, mother trucker. Let's fly, mother trucker. Yeah, like I'm going to do anything about that. Let's go. Woo! Ramp it up! Whoa. Let's just run? Checkpoint, yeah? Nice. I just bypassed like a hundred enemies. That was awesome. Oh, I hate it when it picks things up. Oh my god. Good. Kill them all. Come on, run, 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 run. Whoa. Alright, that should help. Kill that. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Nice. Sweet, I'm in a Monte Carlo. Oh, there's a 
freaking... Wow. There's a monster truck that's after me. Come on. Whoa, run him over. You got new wheels for your chair? Does it slide better? Wow, Cauldron Lake is so far away. There are wheels from like rollerblades. Oh, dude, so you could. <laughs> you should just take your chair outside and do rollerblading. Ooh, run. Let's go. It's pretty cool. I yeah, I imagine it's probably like if you. If you grease those bearings up, man. Probably fly. $25 on Amazon? Nice. Let's clear up some of this gunk. Guess it was worth a try. Well, I need to actually get myself a new chair in general. The chair that I have is really so bad, it's so far for what I want. I've had it forever. I actually gave my wife the, my computer chair that I had before this. Too bad I don't get an achievement for this. Just call it janitor. You know that racing chair all streamers have? Yeah. I mean, I looked into that, and it's it's crazy that everyone has one of those because, like, the RX nines or whatever it's what called. The reviews on them are awful. Your flatman got it. Shit, run, 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 run. Got him. It's so comfy, really? Okay, then I'll just check it out then. Everything that I read online just said it was bad. Maybe I was just reading the wrong reviews. It's expensive too. Like, it's not cheap. It's like 300 bucks. I'd, I've never used it. I've just only read the reviews, so. Without knowing anyone that actually used it, it was hard for me to determine if it was worth it. Shit. Especially for 300 bucks, like, I don't want to test something for 300 bucks dollars. Ow, ow, ow. Else just showed up. This dude. We got him. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Do need more ammo though. Oh, plenty of handgun ammo. However, I am gonna. Come on, shoot this thing. Ooh, yeah. This game makes doing that really easy. Checkpoint. 
on heal up. Got revolver ammo. Some shoddy ammo. Let's reload. Let's go already. Did you see that sweet drifting? Yeah, there's so many. I think it's because I, uh, like, they're trying to make the game actually hard now. I had to get the gate open. Yeah, definitely did. The one he has is quite nice. All right, we're I might check it out then. There's a secret around here somewhere. I just have to find it. Great. Adam. Just tells me to go around here. Wait. This way. And then that's it. You have a pretty posh office chair that's quite nice too. I just know that if you want a nice chair, you're going to spend a, a decent amount of money. The chairs at my work are like 900 bucks a pop. But it's like worth it, honestly. Woo! Run, run, run. Nice. Chain reaction. Hunting rifle? Nah. Well, probably more than four bullets. Yeah. Pretty posh office chair. You euros and your silly lingo. Oh, concussion grenades. I like these flashbangs. Oh, nothing up here. Should open that the gate. So get in the car and drive. Let's go. Forget all those dudes. <laughs> Excuse me. From Oh, whoa. We're in like a junkyard area. Well, it looks like I'm getting out of the car. You prefer me saying which thing it's your my God. <laughs> in some ways, yes, I do prefer that. However,. Josh Hirsky, what's up? You've been my resident lurker tonight. Have a good stream and Godspeed. Thanks, Josh Hirsky. Hope you enjoy the show. This is a good one to be watching. If you're if you're watching anything, this is good, or working. This would be it.
flare gun. Boom. Just gonna get down. Howdy ho there, neighborino. If, hey, if you're AFKing, get in the, uh... Whoa. Scroll down in my About Me panel and, uh... Play the town game or whatever so that... So that our town can get better. How do I make that super badass again? Feels so good to destroy those bulldozers, man. I just knew the dozer would attack you. Just look at them like a mini boss. Yeah. Basically. Need to get back into my car. Maybe it's not broken. Oh, this thing is fucked. We'll just run in there. Run, run, run. Jump, jump to success. Jump to conclusions. Nice. Let's drive this dude around. Cheers, everyone. It's interesting, we got as far away from Cauldron Lake as possible. And now we're going straight back to it. There's a uh, an achievement in the game for not using cars at all. Could you imagine having to run that entire distance? Ridiculous. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Fake it till you make it, yo. Follow. Revolver ammo, we're good on that. Do 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 do. So we have to push it all the way. Just push it enough to get through. Oh, survival. Pump shotgun. I like it. Come on, pick it up. Behind this thing. Ain't nothing good come more of it. 